Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so I thought of doing a, a, a couple, uh, probably a playlist of different uh, meshes created in, in Maya. Now, obviously, I'm going to give you guys an update here. I got a new computer um, to run some of the next-gen stuff, and obviously I'm now running Maya 2013. Um, 2011 wasn't available anymore for download, uh, so I guess that's probably why I didn't get those student version updates all the time. Um, I guess they just stopped uh, patrolling that one, I guess. Uh, and I, I didn't pick 2014 or 2015 only because I wasn't sure how they would work with Unreal Engine 4, and I, want, I knew Autodesk Maya uh, 13 worked with Unreal 4. So I was just playing it safe, um, but th there shouldn't be really any any real big difference. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's in 15, but I know 2014 has a few things that I'm not even going to touch in these videos for creating meshes. What I really wanted to do was create simple things um, and probably do a series of them, stuff like maybe posters or, or pictures and picture frames, um, maybe like stairs. Um, and, and maybe even start going through some um, texture mapping tutorials uh, to go along with those meshes. So you, if you don't know how to texture map, um, starting out on simple um, meshes is, a, is an excellent way to learn how it works. And uh, texture mapping really is just taking a 3D model and laying it flat on the on the ground, so to speak. So you're you're looking at it as if it was a piece of paper with the 3D model unwrapped flat on the surface. And uh, it, it sounds easy in theory and it, and it is once you learn the ins and outs of it. Uh, connecting edges to make, you know, if you had like a head or, or a shoulder or something that you wanted to connect to an arm and, and the UV editor, you know, it it's like all kinds of different crazy shapes. And once you connect them and you start kind of kind of building um, a, a 2D drawing of your 3D model to texture, it's a lot easier. So um, I thought maybe of doing maybe a picture frame for this one. Um, so what I'm going to do is grab a square and I'm, I'm just going to make it, I don't know how tall yet, uh, maybe 128. Uh, no, you know what, I'll do I'll do the width at 64 and the height at 128. Uh, no, not the height. I'm going to do the height at like 4 and the depth at 128. And if you're wondering about my grid settings, my grid is at 128, 128 and subdivisions every 8. Um, and I, I haven't covered this, but if you want to change like the the colors of your grid lines, it's it's just that option right here. I'm colorblind, so I have to really be careful with what I mix and match here. So I kind of just stay with black and white, just so there's no confusion. Um, so now I'm going to move this and zero it out. Obviously. My height is at 4, so I'm going to make the Z translation at 2. Remember, halfway is, it'll lay it flat on the ground. So there it is. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude. This is going to be the outside. And I'm going to extrude a few times, and then that will be like the curvy wood um, design on the inside and then whatever we leave in the middle will be where the picture would go and this one should be fairly easy I would imagine um, but I guess we'll find out because uh, this is my first time making a picture frame but um, I think it should be pretty easy so what I'm gonna do if you hear this clicking noise it's some new feature with uh, my my screen capture. Every time I click it makes like a weird noise. Um, so I'm going to go to the face. I'm going to select the top and I'm going to extrude this. I'm going to pick my scale tool and I'm going to go into the actual grid here. 
so I can see what oh, actually I'm gonna go back into perspective and hold spacebar and then um, hold right mouse button over the Maya block and then go to top view that's what I'm going in I'm gonna go to wireframe too so I'm going to extrude this probably halfway between this grid line so I'm gonna grab the very middle scale block and I'm just gonna drag this to the middle and that will grab every corner as you can see um, got a little bit too much on the top and bottom though so I'm gonna grab the blue one I'm just gonna try and even these out so the frame looks like it's even and this is where the picture will go or whatever you want to put in there so there's that um, so now we're gonna select this face where the the picture would go we're gonna go to extrude again and we're gonna go down with the blue tool and I'm gonna go into my side view so I can actually see how deep this thing's going I'm probably gonna go about there so now we have the outline of what the frame should look like and what we're gonna do now is grab some edges kinda of move move these things back so um, I'm sorry um, just hold right mouse button go up to edge and then select whatever first edge you want and then hold shift and grab all of these inside edges and what the reason I did it like this extruding a weird way and not like adding all kinds of lines here is to just pay attention to the poly count because you can see we have like a relative picture frame and we've only had we only have 28 edges 14 faces so we're doing really good and if you weren't gonna if you were just gonna hang this up on the wall and you would never see the back of it you could just get rid of that whole face entirely because you'll never see it and there's no point in having stuff on a mesh if you're not ever gonna see it uh, unless the geometry requires you have it, I guess. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do with these four edges selected, we're going to go to the scale tool again. And we're going to try and make this look like... actually you know what just hit Z and go back to normal and then we're just gonna grab one edge at a time and I'm going to just bring this back a tad so now you can see we kinda have a curvature going on there I'm gonna do the same thing with this side and I'm only bringing it about halfway in between the the edge we have here this one and the outside edge which is this one so that's how far I'm bringing these edges to I should have probably run through this before I just kind of threw you guys into it here okay and one more Now you can see we have a really cool looking picture frame here, uh, or, or a poster frame, or, or whatever you want. Uh, and one thing you can take note of here is, you know, we've made it like this, where the, where the center of the object is long ways. So, you know, if you wanted to put a picture like this, but if you wanted to do like a picture this way, all you'd have to do is just flip the texture you want to put in there 90 degrees and you'd have a, a frame like this so it's you know it's which it's just building the frame of it 
and then putting the stuff that you want inside of it in there. So to kind of recap and in this video before it gets too long here we took a, a rectangle we extruded it to bring it um, to this big part that we have right here and then we selected the four edges actually we, we extruded again we went down and then that's how this got inside of the uh, rectangle and then we took the four edges these four edges here and we just kind of pulled them out a little bit so we have a little bit of a curvature there and it looks more like a picture frame uh, in the next video I'm going to go through how to texture this thing and actually make it look like a probably a wooden frame on the outside and then having you know maybe a poster or something in the middle so I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one